Hello, hello. My name is Gabby Cook Francis, and I'm the Somerville MCR Minority Ethnic Groups Representative. I'm also studying for a master's in comparative government, and I'm currently talking to y'all from a hot little apartment in Boston, Massachusetts, catching up on Netflix and sleep after finishing my exams. I just wanted to come to y'all today and talk a little bit about what's been keeping me positive and helping me get through these past few weeks. Obviously, the coronavirus pandemic has had a transformative impact on our daily lives, and it has certainly been an adventure and challenge adjusting to the uncertainties of life during COVID. But additionally, as a Black American, I've been glued to the news and social media following the protests that have been sparked by the police killings of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Tony McDade, and unfortunately, so many others. While these horrific events have shaken me and so many others around the globe, I've been deeply inspired by the outpouring of activism and strategic action that has followed. And it has been crucial for me to find solidarity with fellow protesters, activists, and academics who challenge the current status quo and inspire us to imagine a future grounded in liberation that could be. In my capacity as an MCR rep, I just wanted to restate and reaffirm our commitment to fostering an anti-racist communal space for our minority Somervillians. You can read about how the MCR plans to do this in our statement in support of Black Lives Matter and communities of color. Despite these difficult times, I've been fortunate to find tremendous comfort in my family, friends, and the wider Somerville community. The MCR has been a critical way for me to feel connected to Oxford while on the East Coast, and I hope that the Somerville community can provide a similar tether to you, no matter where you are in the world. Three things in particular have kept me positive during this time, namely being my family, music, and gardening. This is the longest that I've been at home since I was 17, and I never imagined that I would be revising for my graduate final, sharing a room with my little brother, who's also home from college. My family is a little nomadic, and usually one person is over here and another person is over there, so the lockdown has provided an unusual and silver lining opportunity for us all to be together um, for an extended period of time under these unusual circumstances. I'm so grateful to have my health and my family's health in addition to having big movie nights and family cook-offs, which have just been such a pleasure. I also love music, and I've been playing a lot of my favorite albums on repeat, listening to some of my favorite artists like Kendrick Lamar or Lil Sims or Anderson Pack, who all discuss the Black experience in their work, has been a great way to process the pain of the past few weeks through art, and also their music is just vibes. And if there's anything that this world is in need of right now, it's definitely some good vibes. And lastly, I love my garden. I've never had so much time to dedicate to my plants, and especially now not being able to go out with friends, it's been lovely to just sit outside and chill with my plants in the sun. The garden has also provided me a space to engage in reflection and think about what's motivating me to finish this degree and what's going to motivate me in the next academic year. To wrap up, I just wanted to say a massive congratulations to everyone on finishing your final exams and papers. I'm toasting you. I don't have anything in my hands, but I'm toasting you regardless um, from Boston. And I just wanted to say that I'm really excited and looking forward to being back in college very soon. I hope you all have an incredible and joyous summer. Bye for now.